So there's a beautiful question is being asked that there's a verse in Quran we all know Inna Allah hai Inna Allah hai Rajaun ki hum khuda se aaye hain khuda ke paas wapas jana hai. So if I have to go back to Allah then why am I working so hard today by going to Jamaat Khana by doing ibadat by sitting in discussion classes trying to understand Quran if I am going to go back I'll just go back why do I need to work so hard right That's a question very good question So <coughs> आप में से वो लोग जिन्होंने एक लेक्चर जो छोटा सा लेक्चर है इज देयर एनीथिंग मोर देन राइट्स एंड रिचुअल इन आवर तरीका जिन्होंने ये लेक्चर सुना है दे ऑलरेडी नो आंसर टू दिस क्वेश्चन बट दिस इज सच अ ग्रेट सब्जेक्ट आई वांट टू गो एन एंड टॉक अबाउट दिस टुडे आर एन तो हर एक को विलिंगली एंड अनविलिंगली हैव टू गो बैक टू अल्लाह वी आर ऑल फ्रॉम हिम विलिंगली और अनविलिंगली वी विल गो बैक हम सबको उसके बाद दोबारा जाना है सो क्वेश्चन इज वाई आर वी वर्किंग सो हार्ड वाई डू वी इवन हैव टू डू एनी थिंग सो आई एम गोइंग टू एस्क अ क्वेश्चन टू आंसर दिस क्वेश्चन फर्स्ट Do you want to go there walking on a donkey cart in a car in a plane in a rocket how would you like to get there so if you want to go into a rocket your action would be what and if you want to walk there your action would be what all right so let's take an example first Let's say there is a king with a beautiful, beautiful castle, beautiful garden, with all the fruits and everything you can imagine, the fountains and the water and everything. He invites you to that garden. So you walk around and you enjoy the garden. At the end of the day, what happens? You have to go out. into wherever you live in nothing compared to that garden or the castle in the religion the sirat al muslimin they were talking about the sirat al muslimin the path people sit on their path there are people who are walking on their path there are people was running on that path ye teeno kisam ke log aapko milenge yahan pe quran ke andar word hai wo sabiku and sarihu jaldi karo dodo hurry up run agar iske next line dekhenge na apne rab ki taraf apne rab ke didar ke liye अब यहां पर जो आपके सवाल का जवाब इस तरह से होगा कि आर वी इन हरी टू गेट बैक टू हिम हमको इवेंचुअली उधर जाना है विलिंगली अनविलिंगली नो डाउट आर वी इन हरी फॉर दिस दिस आर एंड इफ यू आर नॉट इन हरी देन इट वुड टेक फिफ्टी थाउजेंड ईयर इमेजन फिफ्टी थाउजेंड ईयर ये आप देख लेना सुरे मारिफ की आयत नंबर चार होगी शायद सुरे महाराज सुरे मारिज की चार नंबर आप देख लेना इसके अंदर नाउ द चॉइस इज आवर्स वी कैन गेट देयर इन हंड्रेड इयर्स इन दिस लाइफ बाय टेकिंग द एलिवेटर एंड रॉकेट और वी कैन वॉक एंड बिलीव मी इफ यू वांटेड टू वॉक the free will is yours and it will take 50000 years to get to the origin where you have come from <coughs> the nuran allah nur we going to talk about second aap dekhe ke we have people within our jamaat sana humko pure sawal tarike ko bhi cover karne ki zarurat nahi hai 
हम सिर्फ अपने खुद के जमात का लड़का उठ करते हैं एवरी थिंग फॉर द प्लेजर ऑफ द इमाम दे कम टू जमा थाना रेगुलरली दे आर गुड पीपल हम ना सिंह खाली जमा थाना आना वो निजात का दरवाजा है नहीं दे आर ट्रूली गुड पीपल दे डू ही बात है दे गिव दर दाउंड दे फॉलो द फरमान एज मच एज पॉसिबल देन देर आर अदर कैंड ऑफ पीपल वो सर वी डोंट नीड दैट वी विल फॉलो द शरीय but we don't want it to be in tariqat or haqeeqat we will follow imam's farman if it is a worldly convenient for me and if it will bring me some return which i can see not those return which i cannot see in meaning if there is a physical and worldly benefit to me i will follow that farman otherwise i will not now when those people die the person a the good person person b not so good person they both die mukhi sahab ke paas announcement aa gaya mukhi sahab bolenge aaj saman hai dua karenge mukhi sahab sara kuch ho gaya kriya hoga at the end mukhi sahab will say ya mola रोहानी आपके हजूर में आई है आप उसको उसके गुनाह को माफ करना उसको असल में वासल करना उसको नुरान दीदार नसीब करना एग्जैक्टली वही दुआ उस आदमी के लिए भी एग्जैक्टली वही दुआ उस आदमी के लिए भी आपको क्या लगता है बोथ ऑफ देम दिस गो टू द सेम प्लेस और वन इज वॉकिंग and one is there or yahi different hai iske andar ke job ka sawal hai na ki humko kya karne ki zarurat hai how fast do you want to become one with him i'm going to add one more level to this one more level to it ab hum teen aadmi ki baat karenge do aadmi wo same hai one who does everything one who doesn't do anything then there is a third one who saying no mola i cannot even wait to die in heavy dizar i want your dizar today aur aapko barkat par koi gina bata sakte hain ki kal jo karna hai wo aaj kar raha hai aaj jo karna hai wo abhi kar raha hai to wo kya bolta hai marne se pehle mar jao mutu qabla an tamutu subhanallah you don't have to physically die to be asal mein wasal you don't have to physically die to be one with the imam you don't have to physically die to seek in constant dizar and in the noor of the imam ab aapko kaun sa rasta ikhtiyar karna hai a b or c aap bolenge nahi i don't want, i don't have to die physically kahan likha hua hai i have to die physically to have a दीदार ऑफ इमाम एंड बी वन विद इमाम वो तो जबरदस्ती हो गया अनविलिंगली हमको जाना ही है उसके पास गो देर विलिंगली सीक देर नूर विलिंगली और क्या फायदा है इसका देखें आप मजा क्या है इसके अंदर थिंक ऑफ हमारे यहां पर जो मदर्स बैठी हुई है स्पेशली हमारी वो मदर जो पाकिस्तान में थी और जिसके मेरे जैसे बेकार से बच्चे से है वो मार ड्रैग करके टेकिंग देम टू स्कूल राइट हिज क्राइंग यू डोंट गो टू स्कूल एंड देन उसके साथ एक और मदर है उसका बच्चा गुड यूनिफॉर्म बैक पैक हिज हैप्पी आई एम गोइंग टू स्कूल दे बोथ गोइंग टू सेम स्कूल फॉर वन चाइल्ड द स्कूल इज है For the child, the same school is heaven. We all going to go there. You can go through the hell. Fifty thousand years. Can you even imagine? Or you can go through the same heaven. He's going to get there in fifty thousand. 
in a day or two willingly with a happiness aur ye hai hamara tarika sab tarike mein mar ke wo sochte hain ki hum khuda ke paas jayenge hamara tarika hai ja ke kehte hain ki nahi you don't need to die to go to the heaven aur dekhe aap can you see the heaven today can you see the heaven today surah muhammad ki ayat number 6 mein khuda farmata hai it is ayat number surah number 47 ayat number 6 you will go into the heaven that you have already been no no is already known to you you will recognize the heaven that you are going to how would you recognize that heaven you are going to jab aapne kabhi dekhi hogi na usko tabhi aap us heaven mein jayenge and then in another place and if you can find me that ayat the heaven will be brought near you aapko heaven mein jaane ki zarurat nahi hai jannat aapke paas aayegi subhanallah bhai main kaun si khaas ki moli hu who am i ke heaven will come to me 26 90 26th 90 Please do look at those references. Heaven will be brought near you, and you will go into the heaven that you have recognized in the first place. You already will know that heaven. How? How are you gonna know your heaven? Why the heaven will come near you? जब आप ऐसे काम करेंगे, तो वो heaven आपके पास आ जाएगी. आप उस heaven को जानते होंगे. and you will know exactly where you going to go after you die a head of time aapne ye baat bol li abhi aur jo aap bol rahe hain na jo rona bole na that is calling i'm going to i'm going to give out a cigarette today okay. all right mm-hmm. is duniya mein aap ro bhi sakte hain aur aapko bahut dard ho raha hai to aap so bhi sakte hain mm-hmm. you can cry with didar and then if it's too painful you can sleep but once you die physically 50000 year can that there is no sleep and no crying no you will not be able to cry to seek his mercy you will not be able to cry to seek his mercy because he had given you the chance to cry there is no crying and no sleeping तो फिर आप क्या करेंगे यू विल नॉट एबल टू क्राई लेकिन यू आर रेमज आई एग्री विद दैट पार्ट तो मैं आपको ये भी की दे देता हूं कि वहां पर क्राई नहीं करना होगा आपको देर इज अ की टेक दर की विथ यू वेन यू गो देर पश्य मानी योर रिग्रेट योर पश्य मानी विल बी योर ग्री आजारी जब जब आप रिग्रेट करेंगे ना एंड व्हेन डू यू रिग्रेट व्हेन यू फील दैट आई मेड अ मिस्टेक आई कुड हैव डन दिस इन हंड्रेड ईयर व्हाट वाज रॉन्ग विद मी व्हाई डिन आई नॉट डू इट एंड जब वो ख्याल आएगा आपको सो यू विल रिग्रेट एज सून यू रिग्रेट यू विल बी पुश्ड वन लेवल अप वन लेवल वन लेवल ना पचास हजार के अंदर then you will regret again and you will regret again and you will regret again until you get to the level no crying but you will be able to remember allah is merciful he has given you the key thodi si mai ispe aur baat karungi ki hum kyunki ye bahut acha discussion hai it's a very healthy discussion the importance of giryazai you know yesterday i heard something and i would like to share we were sitting in a class and we were discussing beautiful concepts very elevated concepts it's a high level class and one of uh, my teacher said that i feel that there is one thing missing in this class and i said what was what is it you know what he said you guys are not shedding tears you are not doing giryazai 
the importance of giri azari as you said ariba in your own words if i cry my mother will leave everything she's doing whatever she's doing she'll run and come to me and give it to me what i need because that's mother's mercy but you are crying you doing that giriya azari to say to mola papa that mola i want to come near you in our lifetime which is let's say high, maximum 100 years i can die today a young kid can die in 2 2 years or 8 years during that lifetime if one does giriya azari he can be one with him such a small amount of time compare that 100 years with 50 thousand years can we even visualize or imagine the time period and the regret one regret one step 50000 steps one regret you elevate one step and in that 100 years if you follow the principle of sabikun sarihun given in quran you get there like this in your lifetime you don't even have to complete your 100 years so who is the intelligent one here Mola's mercy is with everybody, but he is not unjust. What would be the difference in a person who works so hard, comes to Jamaat Khana, sits in discussion classes, does the bad, tries to watch his deeds, comparison, comparing him to that person who says, "My mother is merciful; she'll take care of me." Take an example of a family. A mother has two children, two boys. Boy listens to mother whatever she says. In fact, he. Uh, forces her need and runs and fulfills her need and the other child keeps fighting with her keeps not listening to her mother's heart is going to beat for which child the one who listens or the one who does not listen but one child listens and does everything before even she asks haqeeqi taabedari and one child is constantly not doing anything keeps hurting her all the time keeps not listening to her so mother will take care of that child who is doing what is you know he is listening to similarly a momin is momin who is walking running on the path and a person who says that he is a momin but not doing what is required of momin he cannot get there so we need to think about it this is a difficult concept and i'm going to give you references because this is like discussion to be continued and i think it would be very good let me give you references we all go home and read these references and come back and discuss more because it's going to open up our mind so let's start with this reference where we talked about that uh, heavens would be known to you 47 by 6 and then there's another reference it says that uh, for momini the heavens will be brought closer for righteous the heavens will be brought closer closer to them 26 by 90 then it says for righteous people for momins heavens is not do far at all it's very near to you so it says in a negative way it's not far from them 50 by 31 and then remember we said in the beginning willingly or unwillingly we all have to go to him so the references from quran are 13 by 15 3 by 83 24 by 41 and then references for those running दौड़ो भागो जल्दी करो दीज आर द रेफरेंसेस साबिकू 23 बाय 60 साबिक 35 बाय 32 साबिकू 57 बाय 21 ففيرو दौड़ो जस्ट डोंट वॉक ऑन सिरात अल मुस्किन रन 51 बाय 50 एंड सारे हु जल्दी करो हरी 3 बाय 133 So these are good references. This is our homework to review. Yeah, ये जो references है, सभी को written में मतलब होता है, the one who takes the lead. साबिक, साबिक, जो lead लेता है, साबिक कौन? जो lead लेते हैं, सारी हो, जो दौड़ते हैं, और फिर हो, भागो, जो भागते हैं, जल्दी करते हैं. So if you look at these words in Quran, telling you <coughs> that Allah does not like people who sus, who are on the last one second to sit, who are not like him. Allah likes him because he is on the last one to sit, who are not like him. Allah likes him because he is on the last one to sit, who are not like him. One who takes the lead into it. 
competition. What I wanted to bring back, that I had talked about the castle and garden. What is the story of the story of the story? Nobody... Guys, if you're not paying attention, how am I going to do what I need to do? <clears throat> what I was trying to say is, you said that eventually I will get there. Okay? But remember, the garden and the castle will not be yours. Because you did not earn that castle. You did not earn that castle. So what would you like? Would you like to visit their heaven? Or would you like their heaven to be yours? The garden? Would you like to just go there for a visit? Or would you like to own the garden? Own those trees and the fruit in it? So in physical life also, we like we come to this world, we all grew up and we want to own a house. Why? It's our house. Same concept applies there. The world is example of that world. So what is this owning a house means here? Do we want to own that castle or I would say royal Bangalore in paradise? Do I want to own that? Or visit her bungalow, his bungalow, his bungalow? Or I want to say, no, my, I have my own royal Bangalore. Come and visit me. So if anyone over here who's just wanted to visit the royal bungalow in paradise, you're welcome to it. But I would rather see you have your own royal bungalow where you can invite me. You know, yehi hamara concept hai, yeh hamara tariqa hai. Hamare tariqe mein, only in our tariqa, we can say we own and we can own and we will own the paradise. बाकी सब मज़हब में पेड़ों के कई जगह है किसी और की है जहाँ पर उसको जा के रहना है नो नो आई डोंट वांट टू स्टे इन योर होम आई वांट टू स्टे इन माय होम इन्शाअल्लाह